Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Okay, I hope you guys are doing well. And today we are solving serialized and deserialized binary tree. Now, if you guys haven't watched my previous video, which was on serialized, deserialized BST, I highly, highly encourage you to go and watch that first. Because today, what I'm gonna do is, is that I'm gonna build this serialized, deserialized binary tree on top of serialized, deserialized BST. So very quickly, uh, I got a new shiny whiteboard too. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Let's say you have three node like um, one, two, three. Now a BST would look like two, one, three. A binary trace because BST has a rule that left node or left child has to be smaller than the parent and the right has to be greater than the parent. Now, binary tree, the only rule is that at most, a node can have two childs. So in this case, it could be like one, two, three. This is also a valid binary tree. You could have three, one, two, and this is also a valid binary tree. But only this guy is a valid BST, right? Okay, so let's jump back over here. So in fact, and I, I wasn't kidding that I'm going to build on top of serialized, deserialized BST. In fact, what I'm going to do is like, let's go to my serialized, deserialized BST solution. And what I'm going to do is like, I'll copy it, the whole thing. And I'm going to paste it over there, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'll make few tweaks, changes, and hopefully this should all work. <laughs> all right, let's take a look at it. So with that thing in mind, that in serialized, deserialized binary tree, this tool that the left child will be smaller and the right child would be greater. So to cater that, now we have to make some changes. So first of all, how the CLI is going to look. I think serialize is going to look exactly same. So let result in code root in code is doing this. Hey, over here, if a node is not, if a node is nil, then we want to return something because in binary tree, how would you otherwise represent a null? child because in bst you had this you had this cool thing that hey if last item is uh, less than left or last greater than right then you can detect that hey uh, it, it was probably an empty child so don't bother but in binary tree you don't have that uh, weapon uh, at your disposal so what you're going to do here is that to detect that i'm going to return uh, int dot min okay so with that subtle change, now with that, I think with that small change, I think we are done with the serialized. So we'll take a look at the end, but so far I think it should be good. With for deserialize, now again, this line is perfectly valid. We do want to convert the string to array, and we do want to convert the string to integer. Uh, let's get rid of this print statement for now. If arr.count is equal to is equal to zero, nil, correct. Over here, we don't have to pass min or max, right? There is no min max concept over here. Again, remove it from here too. Remove these comments. If arr count is equal to zero, return nil. That's good. Let last item is equal to this. And over here, we're going to check that if last item is equal to int dot min return nil. And that's how we're going to detect if it's an empty children or empty node. And then let val is equal to again, remove this comment. 
podcast. Let's create this. Remove these extra parameters. We don't need this. I'll delete these comments for now. And I think that's it, right? We detected the last element. If it's equal to intmin, then it's nil. We removed the last element, given it a node. And again, very same fundamental. The only difference here, so let's switch back to whiteboard and let's try to understand what I'm doing. So if you have a tree like one, two, three, uh, what are we doing? We are doing left, right, and val. So for one, two, three, it's going to look like two, three, one, my array after serialize. And once we want to deserialize it, it will take, uh, let's actually a little bit uh, change it that let's make it four over here right and we don't have a left child of three how this is going to look like presented with minus min let's use a eraser actually you know what Let's actually try and print and see what it does. Cause I also feel that it will also should have mints for detecting its children, like two children. So real quick, print result. Okay. Let's try and see. What is it saying? Not convert value of type into expected type string. Oh, of course. Okay. Okay. So yeah, as I I expected. So minus. Um, so it's int min int min. So for one, two, three, it will be min, right? To say that, hey, there is nothing over here. There is nil over here, right? And there is nil over here. So min, min, I'll just say m to min. Then two, then it will go to three and the left child of three which is min then four then three and then one and that's how exact so min min two min four three one get the idea right i mean it's it's gonna have this min min to understand that hey the children's are nulls so based on this fact what i'm trying to detect is that once i process this or deserialize this, I will get one, I'll extract that, I will create this as a root node, then I'll get three. And again, this is in the reverse order of the right, the earlier one. So the right will become three. And then from there, it's going to continue uh, the journey of understanding. Again, the three right will be right of three will be four and this m min would detect that the left child of three is null so over here i'm detecting that hey if last item is is equal to n dot min then return nil with that being said uh, what is my output over here let's see we are so real quick thing we also want to remove this guy so if we detected that hey last item is min yes return nil but at the same time 
also do this because you want to remove that int min representation of your empty node from the stack or from the array, right? So that it's gone now, let's process the next guy. With that change, now let's give it a shot again. Okay, accept it. Uh, so let me just real quick remove this print statement and let's try to submit this guy. All right, perfect, one go. All right, guys, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. And again, uh, if it's not making much sense, please watch the serialized, deserialized BSD first. I have explained very in a very elaborate fashion there how this whole algorithm works. And I just wanted to build serialized and deserialized binary tree on top of that. That being said, see you guys next time.